everybody? Welcome to another Ken from the Car. If you're watching on the replay, say hello. Subscribe to my channel. If you don't know who I am, you should definitely subscribe to this channel. Like, I need, I like my subscribers. So if you're watching the replay, welcome to the replay and subscribe. Share it. Comment. Like and love. Um, I'm going to give everyone a few minutes to join. Um, debating if I want to wear a hat or like this. Look at that. I look like the amazing guy on the amazing race. Let's just kind of do that. Oh, yeah. Hi, Jazzy. Look at that. Got that. Got my hat. All right, everyone, so welcome to another episode of Ken from the Car. If you are new to this channel, um, hi, welcome. Um, I am wearing this, all this stuff for a reason, so I'll tell you in just a sec. But um, as you guys join, um, I feel very responsible this week because I actually have notes because I rewatched my Ken from the car last week, and uh oh, it was a little all over the place. So I was like, "Ooh, I need to take notes and stay a little on topic." All right. So um, as you guys are joining, thank you for joining. I am a little late. I know that, but there is reasons for it, um, which we'll get into, and I will try to stay on topic. So first and Foremost, I want to thank you guys all for coming and saying hello. I have so much to talk about, so I already apologize in the beginning if it's long. If you don't want to watch it all, I get it. Um, but we have a lot to cover. Um, so uh, first and foremost, the most important thing, everyone keeps asking me what my drink is. Um, because I'm always drinking ice with a purple liquid and everyone's like what is that so here it is this magical stuff so for those of you who don't know i have an opal ice machine because i'm addicted to ice and chewing it and um ice is great i love ice but i really like flavored ice and so one day i was like desert pear what is that i don't know what that is so i bought it and it is magical I'm pretty sure it's prickly pear. I don't know why they call it desert pear and monin. There's good stuff. We have a URM in town, so that's where I get mine at. Um, on Amazon, it's a little expensive, but I don't know how much we pay for it because Sean buys it. And I just drizzle a little on the top, and what ends up happening is throughout the day, my ice melts. Today, I treated myself with a little bit of white chocolate on it. Live a little, people. All right, so that's what that is. All right, I'm doing things a little different this time. Normally, I wait till the end to do viewer mail. I'm going to do that in the beginning. I will try to keep keep up with your comments. Sean is in the comments. I do believe I saw Jazzy. So let's get going. All right, so <laughs> um, because I'm a little late doing Ken from the car, I was driving to my secret location in Spokane, Washington, where the coverage is really good. And when I was leaving, Sean's like, you're going back to that spot because it was really good. And I was like, yeah, I am. Um, so um, it's secret though, I can't tell you. But anyways, I have a viewer mail. And uh, to get to this place, I kind of go through a little bit of a forest part. And when I was in the forest part, I hear this. Wait, where is it? That. And I about pooped my pants. I was like, what is that? <laughs> so anyways, we're going to start by opening this. Um, I got this on Saturday. And let me read the car. So it's actually to Sierra. It's not to me. And it's from T-Rex. Okay. And it says friends forever. So this is the cricket joy. I can tell because that's an insert card. Um, it's from Miss Julie Fox, who uh, she knows who she is. She's right there. And it says two CC Rex faves. Love Rex, T-Rex, dog signature. How freaking cute. That's what I would do. I do like little dog signatures and I talk for my dogs and stuff. It's a thing. And I know it's not normal, but it's for me. 
So it says, Ken, Sean, and Doggy Booze. I love you guys so much. You are the most amazing friends and have helped me through so much. I was hoping to deliver this in person, but um, fingers crossed I can come over soon for some much needed giggles. Love, Julie. So inside is this thing that literally scare the bejesus out of me. It is, it's called a babble ball, and it has animal sounds that... Of course, the pig. And it scares me sometimes because some of them are kind of scary. Why does it keep being the pig? <laughs> this is going to drive Sean insane. <laughs> so... <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, I got to be very careful with it because it's going to go off again. All right, so there's that. Then there's this, and it's called a puzzle. And I'm... Oh, no. Don't look at me, people. Um, They're a long cutting surface, and there's no lawn here. I can't tell you where I'm at. It's very top secret. Okay, so this is called a puzzle, but I don't understand how it's a puzzle. Oh, you put a treat inside of it, and then they have to get the treat. Oh, so it's not like a... Pu I was like, how are they going to do a puzzle? Look. So there's that. And then there is this, which is one of my favorite kind of toys. This one's called the Mini Flyer. It's a slingshot dog toy. So, like, you go like this. I didn't do that right. I have to look at this. What the heck? Ow! Son of a nutcracker! Warning, this is not a chew toy. Wait, what? How is it not a chew toy? Pet should be supervised when playing with this toy. Remove toy from pet if any part becomes... How is this not a chew toy? It says it's a dog toy. Wait a minute. I'm so confused. Let go of the tail. Budge! Okay, well, we're going to hurt myself, so we're going to... They'll love this, though. That looks naughty. I'm going to stop. Okay, and then this I freaking love. Look at this. So this one says, I love you more than toilet paper. Right? And these are masks, just so you know. I don't know if I can... So they go around your ear. Look at that. I look like Bane from Batman. I am Batman. So this one says, I love you more than TP. Okay. And then this one says, just a sec, I got to put it on for you. I'm going to be a model. Someday. Okay. Couples who isolate together, stay together. So true. So thank you so much, Julie. This was very sweet. Um, and... That is, I love it. Okay. Um. All right, where's my notes? I'm already off topic. Holy moly, I am hot. I think it's this little, I think it's this. So we're going to take that off. Holy moly, look at my hair. <laughs> okay. All right. Um. Okay, so thank you so much. That was super sweet of you. And uh, we have so much to talk about, so I'm going to dive right into the sales. These people are in orange hoodies, and if they come over here, I'm just going to drive away. That's my plan, my escape plan. Um, and then we have a lot to talk about, like I said. So, um, Cricket. Okay, first of all, let's talk about 651. So you guys all know I'm good friends with 651 Vinyl. They are my peeps. It's Troy and Tammy and some other peeps. And they're back. They're back. But, um like everywhere else in the country, some people don't come back to work, so they've had to go through a lot of changes. But I'm super impressed because um, I get to track, like, when you guys use a link, and then I get to see, like, the sales and stuff, and, like, if they're shipped, because I know they're shipped, because then we get that small commission. Oh, Shaniza. Hi, Shaniqua. Oh, man, why is everyone out walking? They're going to be like, there's a crazy guy in the car just talking to it. Hi. Oh, my gosh. It's fine. It's no big deal. I'm going to pretend I'm, I'm eating, drinking something. He's going to call the cops, probably. I mean, look at my... <coughs> I choked on my eyes. 
He is. He's looking back, guys. I'm just telling you something. I'm like, I'm just talking to my friends in New York. Okay. Um. Okay, now I'm nervous and I'm sweating. Don't look at them. They're going to look at me. Okay, so what was I talking about? Oh, yeah. Um, so 651, I've been super impressed because I can see their shipments going out and they're practically caught up. So they're shipping fast. So um, as always, I would love it if you support us by using the link below. The coupon code for them is GET5 um, and that gets you 5% off um, on your order. And we love them and they're awesome and they keep getting more and more and more. Um stuff, which I love because it's like a one-stop shop. Uh, with that said, um, I also put the Glowforge. I've had so many people reach out to me on the Glowforge and just ask me my thoughts on it and stuff. And we love it. We're going to be doing, oh my God, what is this national let's come stop by Ken day? Oh, I'm parked right next to the mailboxes. That's fine, people. I don't want the cops called on me. Okay. So anyways, um, I've already, this lady's coming straight at my car. I'll just pretend I'm on a phone call. They have no idea. Is she going to turn? She's going to walk right by my car. Um, so anyways, uh, this is the worst spot. This is like Grand Central Station. Do these people not know that we're supposed to be like 10 feet away from each other? Lady, listen, listen, lady, just keep walking. Okay, he's getting back to this car. <laughs> Last week, this place was not as hopping as this. Um, okay, so Glowforge. Um, I'm super excited. Glowforge is actually... Hi, Ali. Uh, Glowforge is actually in Seattle, which is not just outside of Spokane. We're actually about four hours away. Um, but I am super pumped because they've reached out to me and want to start doing stuff, which I'm excited because now I can since I'm no longer affiliate with other companies that blocked me from working with other companies. I'm a free agent. And I was like, heck yeah, I want to do stuff because that machine is legit awesomeness. Um, and we're going to be showing it a lot more. I understand it's kind of expensive. I think the entry level is 2,500, the pros 5,000. But what that machine can do Oh my gosh, like it's amazing. Um, and if you use our link, you get, I think, $500 off the price. Um, last thing I'll chat is just quick sales is Cricut products. There is a ton of sales going on. They are clearancing out a crap ton. So if you are a fan of Cricut stuff, now's the time to go act. And you can use my coupon code puppies which is because we just had puppies. Well, I didn't have puppies. We had puppies. But um, so like right now they have 30% off mats, 50% off infusible ink, 30% off vinyls, 30% off materials, 50% off storage, 40% off iron on if you're an access member. Tomorrow they'll have 20% off all materials and accessories, coupon codes, puppies, um, but clearance. Look at their clearance section. It's crazy how much stuff's on clearance. So either A, they're clearancing out of things that aren't selling. Um, it used to be clearance stuff would just go into a mystery box. Now I don't know what they're doing, but a lot of stuff's on clearance, which is great because they also clearanced out a lot of their employees. That wasn't nice. <laughs> I am in a mood today. I am sorry. Um, Okay, so Silhouette Steam Sales last week. I do want to talk to you guys about the Chalkathon that's coming up this Sunday. That's why I'm wearing my getup. I have my Watsa Love do-rag. I have my hat, but it's too hot. Um, I have the light somewhere, but I don't know what I did with it. Oh, here it is. Um, so I could have swore I just heard something, but I didn't. Um, so this Saturday... Designers across the nation are all coming together and doing a day of light chalkathon where uh, on Chalkator's Facebook page, they are going to be having interviews with Chalkator people. They're going to have um, spotlights on certain designers. Um, if you liked my French market uh, board, which was the French market with the asparagus, the tomato and asparagus, tomato and something else. I don't know what the last thing is. Anyways, um, that's getting auctioned off on Saturday. So if that's something you want, I think it's between the two and three o'clock hour. Um, yours truly and Sean may be uh, interviewed. So you want, want to check that out. We will be going live a certain part of that day on Facebook. Um, so you'll want to be with us because we are... Oh, an artichoke. Thanks, Sean. Um, we will be doing some live um, artwork, me and Sean, and auctioning those off during the time too. I do want to let you guys know that we are not 
going to be doing our main auction that we normally do for our work. We're going to wait on that one until this day of light happens. Um, but check it down below. I did give you guys a, um, a link to my video I did today of doing it in the dark. Oh my gosh, you guys, this is so funny. So the do it in the dark challenge is literally where basically Watts of Love is trying to get this, this concept that, hey, in Malawi, they have to do so many things in the dark and it's a lot harder than we think. And so you put, I had a blindfold, which was this, and I put it on and I'm like, I'm going to nail this. Like, hello, I could, I could chalk in my sleep. Well, it didn't go well. What is M-D-R-R-R? Murder? Murder? <laughs> Murder! All right. So anyways, um, I hope you join Chocotour's Facebook page on Saturday. It's going to be a lot of fun. Um, we're going to be doing a live tonight, so check it out. Um, all right. So I think that's it for the sales. Um, and I have my groups and stuff. So we... I got that in almost 15 minutes. I did good, right? I did good. Okay. It is so hot. It shouldn't be this hot, but I'm hot. Um, maybe I should do need that. Here, I'll just do that. Oh. All right, there we go. Okay. Um, okay. So I need to chat with you guys. I have hair everywhere. So um, I'm gonna start a week ago. Um, and I'm gonna I'm gonna be upfront right now. Um I'm going to go into a lot of emotional stuff. I know the titles, everyone's what's going on, breaking up and stuff. So stay with me. I try to be on topic. I have my notes, but this could get, um, I could end up kind of going all over the place. So just be prepared. I wonder if I could just roll down my windows. Wrong windows. Get a nice little cross breeze going. You know what I mean? There we go. All right. So, um, last time I did Ken from the car, um, I'll be honest, I, I wasn't going to do it. Um, I don't know what's going on. Go away. Um, I wasn't going to do it because I just, I kind of was in a vulnerable spot, but I was like, you know what? I'm, I want to do it. I love Ken from the car. And so I decided to, 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 de to do my Ken from the card. Um, and for those that were here, um, there was, it was all over the place. It was emotional at times. I talked about a lot. And usually after Ken from the cars, um, I get a lot of support messages and, and I did get a lot of support messages, but um, I instantly, and I'm not going to name any names. It was multiple people. I'm not calling anyone out because I always welcome feedback. Um, but I got some pretty rough messages. I got some messages basically, um, they were just kind of, they were just kind of like, I think it's ridiculous that you, um, you know, Essentially, the, the overall theme was um, you're always complaining. You're always upset with someone. You need to get past the fact that Cricket let you go. You need to move on. Um, I had a lot of people that were like, I was a Patreon member and I'm no longer a Patreon member because I just can't stand, you know, the fact that um, you've raised funds in the past. Um, and I want to talk about that. So I am blessed. We are so blessed to to have you guys. Um, and when we got back from Africa, Toby, there is a truck just sitting back there, probably staring at me. Why is he not moving? What is happening? Do I need to move? Whatever. If he comes over here, I'll just freaking do my thing. Um, maybe he's just talking to someone. Um, so there, there, when we got back from Africa, Toby was sick and it was going to be about $5,000. Um, that we had to pay. And, and to, to help pay for that, we decided to auction off our artwork. So artwork that we had collected that we would normally auction off for Watts of Love and give all the money there, we raised funds to, to fix, you know, to help Toby. Um, and you guys helped us out. And I have literally, since September, have been so thankful because every day with that dog now is a blessing and I don't take any day for, I don't take it for granted. Um, 
And I look back to that and say, if it wasn't for that, I wouldn't have all these extra days with him. Um, and then, of course, we had we had puppies. Well, we didn't, but like we, of course, asked or so the puppies came and we had Remy had these medical issues and we didn't know what it was, but essentially everything was pointing toward Livy Shunt and a surgery. And my good friend Allison said, you know what? I'm going to raise, start a fundraiser so we don't have to worry. Because essentially, the, the common theme was most people put down the puppy because they cannot afford to pay for surgery and stuff. And within 24 hours, you guys all raised, I think it was right around $8,000. And all of that money is in a separate account because Remy is going to need additional testing in about nine months. Um, But I got comments that were just... I can't believe you would use your audience for this. It's taking advantage. It's, um, you know, we don't have the ability to raise funds. And I, I won't go into a lot of details, but basically it just put me in a funk. Um, as soon as the Ken from the car was done, I, when I get in this space, I need to just drive and be with myself and, and just organize my thoughts. And, I need to roll my window because there is now people looking at me. So there we go. That's fun. Um, so I, I let it get to me and I don't, I didn't used to let comments get to me, but lately that was getting to me and I was like, I just, I don't know what's going on. I felt like I couldn't, I couldn't, I couldn't win. And, um, it wasn't just one comment. There was multiple comments. Um, and there was good comments. I don't want you to think there wasn't good comments. There was good comments. But I was pretty empty already. So when you're empty and that that hits, um, I mean, I'll be honest, all last week, so for the past two years, I have had the blessing, might be three years now, of Mother's Day weekend, I'm usually in Hawaii. I'm usually at the Silhouette Summit because they always hold it on Mother's Day weekend. And it's a beautiful distraction for me because I'm there and there's many times that I have... I knew it's Mother's Day, but it's like I'm I'm there with Teresa and friends and, and um, my mind's kind of distracted from it. So I knew last week that I didn't have that distraction. And for those of you who no longer have your mom, you know, you probably know how hard this time is because everywhere you turn, it's Mother's Day cards, it's photos, it's um, celebrating the mother. And even though I'm in a good place with my mom's death and, and work through it, it's still hard. You never, I should say most people never forget their mom. You always will miss your mom. And it doesn't matter if you lose them at 10 or if you lose them at 90. That pain is still the same. And um, so Thursday, I had the Ken from the car. I was already in a vulnerable state. And of course, I turned to friends. Um, and just, you know, I always am like, oh my gosh, guys. You know, I texted Jazzy and Ali and Sean. I was just like, maybe... I, I, am I missing something? And they're like, don't listen to it. Just be yourself. But they could tell I was down. They could tell I wasn't my typical self. And um, so Friday came and went. Um, I don't even know what we did Friday. And um, oh, yeah, I did. I wasn't in a right space Friday either. <laughs> but Saturday came and I just, it was a normal day. I was getting some stuff and just doing things and Sean was doing yard work and and um I was working on stuff and all of a sudden Allie shows up with her dog and I was like oh that's nice she just came to visit me and then Jasmine showed up and I was like okay are they having an intervention like <laughs> maybe I am in a bad space and and they're like oh my gosh we need to intervene because he's gonna I don't know um and so, all my comments disappeared, so I don't know what's going on there. Oh, there they are. Sorry about that. Um, and Allie came to me, and she was like, can we go to your mom's grave? And I said, yeah. Um, why? And they're like, you should go up there. And I haven't been to my mom's grave since 
I think it was 2016, maybe 2017. I don't remember. Um, and they wanted to go up there. And so um, my mom's grave is in a beautiful spot up on the hilltop. Um, our, mine and Sean, we already have our niche where we're going and it's up there. And so when I go up to the grave, it's, it's a mixed emotion. It's either really peaceful or it can be really traumatic. But both of them are like, we want to, we want to go with you. We want to celebrate. Um, cause obviously Jazzy never knew my mom, but Ali knew my mom, Sean knew my mom. And the fact that they just wanted to go up there to be with her. Um, and I haven't been up there in a long time and I usually do kind of go up to myself because I need that private emotion. And Ali had gone and she had bought peonies because those were her favorite color and up where my mom is, um, there's wind. So that we put wind chimes and wind meals because it's so windy up there. They just twirl. And I was sitting there and I was like, I'm going to bring up chalk markers and I just wanted to go decorate um, her grave site. So we go up there and of course I'm sharing stories about my mom and just basically, you know, how tough it is and stuff. And so we, we go up there and, um, I deal with a lot of stuff with humor, dark humor. Um, and, uh, I, on my niche, <laughs> um, I wrote here lies Ken Hess as previously seen on YouTube <laughs> because that's just how I deal with it. And, and we did, we, we went up there, we spent a while, we went and looked at the, the graves that have the, the children and just kind of took our moment with them. And then I had to pee the entire time. So then I finally go pee. And then where I pee in the forest, there's like all of these headstones that are broken. And I'm like, oh my gosh, we're going to die. This is a, a curse, you know, but it was just, um, it was just peaceful. It was, it was so nice. And I hadn't been up there in so long. And, and, um, we cleaned her grave. Um, we made sure my grandparents' grave was decorated and just, um, it, it was just nice because I was in such a bad spot and to have friends come out and be there for me. And so when I was up there, I start going through my old photos because I'm trying to figure out when is the last time I went up there um, and I'm scrolling and scrolling and scrolling. I didn't pee on someone's grave. No, this was like in a back area. You could tell it's like where they um, like put broken stuff. And so I was like, oh, this is a perfect spot. And so I went back there into this forest. And I was like, you guys, there is like coffins back here. I don't know what they were. And broken headstones that I'm sure that they broke and stuff. So it was just kind of weird. But anyways, and then we we did stay up there. There's a beautiful section of the of the of this uh, graveyard that um, has really tall statues that have inscriptions. And there's like a little rock path that went through it. And just, it was just peaceful. It was very peaceful. And... I started going through these photos and sharing them with Ali and stuff. And, and as I, as you guys know, Al, Ali and I go way back. Jazzy came into my life around, when I worked at Wall Trust. Um, so I'm sharing memories with her. And we go home and, and they leave um, because, you know, they have to do their stuff. But as I'm going through these photos... As I'm going through these photos, I realize how I've lost myself and I've lost the person I used to be and how happy and joyous and how I used to be with friends and have all these great memories. And I started looking at my recent photos and they're not, I mean, I still have great memories, but I've just kind of lost myself. I've lost my happiness. I've lost it. But I was still like in a mood of I'm fine. Everything's fine. Um, which leads us to Sunday. And I just need you guys to know, before I share this, I don't like, it's not that I don't like sharing my emotions. It's not that I don't want to, but growing up as a young man, knowing I was gay and being emotional, growing up, you're called sissy or um, hide your emotions. And when my mom died, I kept hearing, oh my gosh, Kenny's going to fall apart. Kenny's going to fall apart. Kenny's going to fall apart. So I made the wise decision to take those emotions and push them down deep. Because if you do that, 
you don't acknowledge it and you can move on and then you hear, oh my gosh, you're doing so well and I thought you were going to fall apart, but look how strong you are and all this stuff, right? Um, which is bad. So Sunday, it's Mother's Day, which is already triggering. <laughs> and one of the great things of, of, of some of the women in my life is the, the women I'm close to, I'm close to because they're amazing women and they're amazing mothers. And that's a double-edged sword because as much as I look and say, oh my gosh, you're amazing mothers, it make, I surround myself around women that are amazing mothers and love their kids and provide great things. But it, it also makes you remember that you miss your mom. And that you don't have that. And you don't, um, you just want to go to those, those, those kids and say, don't take this moment for granted because it could go away at any time. I swear, Kim from the cars are usually fun and they'll get back to that spot. But Sunday was hard. And just like I've always told you guys, I just push it down and... Um, Sunday started with that, and then just, I, my dog Toby, who's now 13 and a half, um, he's not eating, and he's not really active, and he's not really drinking water, and I just laid with him for an hour, and I can't cry near him, because if I cry near him, he gets upset and wants to come for me. But, um, that dog has been my dog. Like, he's, when he did move around, he could go everywhere with me. He followed me around. Um, he would always be in my lap. Even now, if I start coughing, he comes to find me. Um, and I know it's near the end. I get that, and I'm grateful for every single day, but it still doesn't hide the fact that I know... I have to, as an owner, do the right thing and eventually um, put him down. And I know that. I get that. But um, because of that and my mom and everything else and going in the past and stuff, I I had a pretty... I, I've never been... I, 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 I'm always honest with you guys and let you guys know that I deal with depression and anxiety and I'm not ashamed of that. Because those are true emotions and we all have it. And if you're ashamed of that, you're telling people that you're ashamed to have these feelings. Because these feelings are normal and you should express them. But in my case, I push them down, which cause panic attacks. And they're horrible and they're scary. And thank God for Sean to get me through them. But I had a pretty bad one on Sunday. And... um. I just, I, it was bad. Um, I'll just say that. It was bad. Uh, so that night, I just, I told Sean, I'm, I'm at that spot again. I'm at that spot where I need to change. I need to be happy. I need to do what makes me happy and, and get to that point again. And so Monday comes and I start kind of going through my YouTube comments and reading some of the responses on my last Ken from the car and seeing all the amazing support and seeing all of the amazing feedback and seeing all of this amazing stuff. And Jasmine and Sean are back to work. You guys know that. And I called a meeting on Monday and I needed to explain to Jasmine and Allie and Sean what, what was happening and what caused it and stuff. And I don't want to... I'm I'm not going to go into too much details cuz I'm we talked for hours and I am at a point where I'm so excited. I am I am amazed on how we are going in such a new direction. I am terrified of this direction we're going. We are doing something so risky. Um, and it could completely fail. I don't know. Um, and the direction we're going in, I know I may lose a lot of this audience. I may lose a lot of my connections I made. I may lose a lot of 
um, of what I've spent so long building up. But what I'm getting back in return is something I haven't had in a long time, which is happiness, excitement, opportunity, a completely new direction. And this is something... Um, Jasmine summed it up perfectly. After I sat down with her and I, and I kind of, with her and Sean, just kind of gave a little bit of thoughts of, here's what I'm thinking. Am I crazy? Am I, is this career suicide? <laughs> is this the wrong direction? Both of them looked at me and then I said the sentence, which I can't say, I'm so sorry, because I, I wanted to be surprised, but I basically said, here's the new blank. And both of them looked at me and said, that's perfect. That is perfect. Exactly what you're thinking is perfect. And I, I honestly... I honestly feel as anything in my life, my mom makes a path for us. I, I know not everyone believes in God in an afterlife. And, and to be honest, I don't know where I fall on that scale. But I do know that things have happened in my life that I know is my mom saying, do this, do this, do this. And I feel like this is her 100% guiding me because it's so out of my realm. It is so out of my comfort zone. It is so much where I'm like, I cannot believe I'm doing this. But as soon as I told Sean and Jazzy, I even told Ali the whole thing, um, what I want to do, and they were both on board. Um, I said, that's it. That's it. That's what we're doing. And we jumped into action, which is leading me to our mystery boxes. Um, I'm not going to go into details. You guys can 100% um, assume where you think. And the reason... I'm not trying to hold it back um, to... I it, The reason I'm holding it back is because I'm so excited about it that I want it to be a big big deal. I want it to be something that is huge. And I want it to be something that is literally us closing a book and starting a book. And and Jazzy kind of looked at me and said, you need to break up. You need to close this chapter and you need to start this new chapter that you're thinking and you need to do that. And I've reached out to many, many of my business contacts and kind of given them insight of stuff. Um, I know Jazzy's here. You guys, Jazzy's here because she knows that I talk and she's here to instill fear into me. <laughs> because you know me, I will let it all everything come out. Um, and and she has been very adamant. Her and Sean have been adamant of don't tell this to anyone. Keep it to yourself. Um, because it may be something if I tell you guys, you might be like, you're insane. And if people start trying to talk me out of it, I will probably talk myself out of it. Um, but it is going to be something that affects all avenues. My Patreon, my YouTube channel, my Facebook page, my Facebook group, my direction, everything. Um, everything. And I am really excited about it. But part of that is I hate to admit this, um, because I made fun of that Maria Kondo lady, the, you know, if it doesn't bring you joy to get rid of it. Um, but it works. It works big time. And we spent all yesterday clearing out probably 85 to 90% of, of my old chapters, my old book. And I did this two years ago. I think it was two years ago when Jazzy first started and she was like, Yesterday, after I, as I'm going through this and kind of, it's like breaking up with an old boyfriend and grieving it. And so I'm having these moments of, oh my gosh, nope, this is stupid, retreat back. And it's, nope, go forward and having those supports. Oh my gosh, if this is a cop, I don't know why I'm afraid it's always a cop. I should always like, hi. All right. So <laughs> it's not like they can hear me, but you know, um, so today, I um, I went downstairs because Jazzy and Sean worked really hard today to get it organized and stuff. And I am literally um, purging is a great word. I saw Jessica, but and it's not just my stuff. I mean, we're talking redone a lot of stuff, and I'm like, 
I went to Sean last night because so so this is all going on, and then of course. Monday night, we start shipping out these boxes for our Club Couture members because I got my Club Couture, Pachac Couture. I have a Club Couture membership, um, and they get like a, every month they get like a transfer and, oh, that's funny. Oh yeah, that's right. Um, and all this good jazz. And, um, I, I like to bring people happiness. I like to surprise them. So I, I have 150 club members and we made little goodie boxes for them. Mm -hmm. I forgot 150 is a lot. That's a lot of boxes. That's a lot of products, a lot of shipping. Um, but we started packing it. And when we're packing it, we're watching this show called Hollywood. It's on Netflix. It's by Ryan Murphy. Great show. Little racy, but great show. And I looked up at Sean and I said, Sean, for the first time in a long time, I'm excited. And Sean and Jazzy both were like, it is like you have turned on a light and it's completely different. And here's the thing, guys, that I have to tell you. I am terrified, absolutely terrified that this could be the wrong decision because it's that drastic of a decision. And it's not a bad thing, but it is It is so out of my comfort zone. It is such a risk. It is such... It is literally everything that I've worked hard for these past few years building to get to this point in my life, I'm literally saying, that's cool, bye, and going in this new direction. That literally is a dark forest that I have no idea what's over there. I have no idea. But what I do know is I have the right people in my life and I have the, the right direction. And, you know, I... I just have this feeling inside, this drive, this fire of this is what I need to do. And it might not bring in a dime. It may not do anything, but I'm passionate about it and I think it's the right thing to do. So that's kind of what we're doing. Um, I've gotten so many questions on the mystery boxes, so I wanted to talk about that. Um, so if you've not heard about our mystery boxes in the past, um, I am doing a st to stash where I am purging a lot of stuff. Most of it, I would say 90% of it's brand new items that I've never used. These are items that a year ago I bought because I was going to do a video and never did it. Um, it was items that people said, Hey, can you review this? And I just wasn't passionate about it and I never opened it. And so it's going, um, so we are in the process of getting organized. I am very hopeful by Friday we will have these listed. And they are basically 50% of the value of the box. So for example, um, my stamp boxes, normally they'll have $50 worth of stamps or dies, um, you know, paper crafting, and then we reduce it by half. So $50 value, you guys pay $25 for it. Um, and I, <laughs> I literally purged oh my gosh so much stuff i should do another big freaking reveal um but the, hopefully they'll be going up on friday some of them um are gonna be pretty even though they say a mystery like there's one box that's basically gonna be called if you like to make tumblers with glitter buy this box <laughs> um and stuff so um all right, I see you guys all asking um, on what is it, what's your direction. I was going to tell you, I'm blaming Jasmine, um, but I, I really need to close this chapter and then start the new chapter. And when I do it, you guys will know because it will be so different. Um, it will be a completely new direction. And I'm not going to say that I'm not going to still do things that I've done now in in my previous uh of where i am oh, i just don't want to give away too much but there's still maybe elements of what you love that i've done in the past three years to be in the new part but they're not going to be main chapters of my new book i hope that makes sense i don't i know it probably um I, I, yeah. So, and I'm prepared. You guys, I'm not going to lie to you. I'm prepared that I know some of you might say, I'm not going to like this. And this isn't the reason I started watching you. Um, and you may make the choice to not watch me or support me or anything. But I do know that even if I don't make a dime, 
I will be happy and it's exactly what I want to do. And it, six months ago, I kind of had an inkling of, okay, I want to make a change. And if this is where I am now, I dreamt my dream was like right here. This dream is like way up there, like way up there. <laughs> like, I'm like, I can't believe I'm doing this, but I can only move forward type of thing. So, all right. What questions do you have? No, I'm just kidding. Uh, so I do know, I do want you guys to know that um, the reason I haven't been going live as much um, is I've, I've been in bad headspace. Um, I've been in such a bad frame of mind that I couldn't even find inspiration for Chalk Couture. Like, chalking didn't even get me to my happy zone. And you guys know I've always used chalking as my happy zone. And if I need to get back into a happy zone, I chalk it out. And Sean would be like, what are we doing for a project tonight? And I would just sit there and I'm like, I have no inspiration inside me. None. Um, and the same was with Ken's Christian's uh, stuff. So I do want you to know, I do have certain commitments I've made with companies that I will be be doing and, and those will be done. Um, and I've already reached out to those companies and let them know that um, and stuff. But uh, uh, that's the reason I kind of haven't been um, doing a lot of lives. Um, and the fact that I'm going to spill the beans and I'm not supposed to. Uh, give us a time frame. Um, I think the time frame is probably going to be within the month. Oh, there you go. Sean just said, once the mystery boxes are ready, you will all know. And once those are sold, um, that's basically what's when you'll see the big difference. Um, when, where can we put your mystery box? That's a great question. So the mystery boxes, once they're available, uh, will be put onto my blog and I'll be a huge announcement. And, um, we're hoping Friday, if not Friday, Saturday, and then once they're gone, they're gone. And yes, we will ship to Canada. Um, we do flat rate boxes, so we can get as um, much stuff in the boxes, and then it's one flat rate shipping. If you are a current Patreon member, you will get a discount, and I will let you guys know. Um, and uh, then once that happens, like, what day is it? Let me look. You guys will definitely know if it's, it's basically the middle of May by the end of June. Everything will be revealed. I will say, how do I say this without giving too much? Um, I will say this. If you like Ken from the car, I think you're going to really like our new direction. That's all I'll say. And that's only one part of our new direction. <laughs> I keep saying new direction. I'm not endorsing that um, band, but... Um, so, we'll see. I'm excited. I'm really excited, you guys. I am so... Yes. Holly says, so now is not the time to join Patreon. No, absolutely join. Um, Patreon's going to change, but files will still be part of it. So what you're asking, um, the files will still be there. Yes. Mm, let's see here. Drive to him now. Hurry, Jesse. I know. <laughs> Podcast sucks. They're annoying. I don't know anything about podcasts, so I will tell you that. It's probably not that. <laughs> okay, I'm going to shut up now, Jazzy. Wow, that car was really close to me. Yes. Um, you'll get even better perks on Patreon. That is true, Jazzy. Now you're giving too much away. Um, all right, guys. So I, I am really excited. I am super stoked. I do want to let you guys know, um, we do have our puppy group. We've had a lot of people always asking about the puppies. How are they doing? We are so blessed to have the owners that we do because all of them are sharing a ton about these puppies in our puppy group, which is the McChess Golden Retriever group. Um, the link is down below and that way you can see it. Um, and yeah. Will you tell us if we guess? No, I cannot. If Jazzy wasn't here, maybe, but until Jazzy's here, I cannot. <laughs> Actually, Sean would probably hold me to it. You guys, I haven't even told Allie. And she's my BFF for life, and I haven't even told her. 
Um, I will, however, give you a sneak peek tonight on Ken's creations of what will be in the mystery boxes, and that will give you a good thing. Oh, I thought you were just like, the graveyard sucks. I was like, it was actually not too bad. Um, Sharon, it's so fun to watch to them grow. Uh, Sharon, just so you guys know, congratulations, because she's opening a storefront, which is also kind of scary, but I believe in you. Um, we do have the ability to bounce people from the chat. Um, my mods can do it. I don't get to see all of the, um, comments. And Renee, Sean, Renee was saying it's, she's graveyard. She's working graveyard. Um, not that the graveyard suck. Oh my God, what is this? He has a sign. What does it say? Man, people are booking through here. Um, all right, guys. So I'm super excited. I will say that. Um, I will be doing Ken from the car still consistently every week because obviously we still need to make money and promote what we're doing until this new thing. Either we could be, Sean, we could be homeless in a year. I'm just going to say that. <laughs> so... Um, that could be a thing. Uh, let's see here. It says, tell the people what they want. Oh, oh, I forgot to tell you. So I am going to be doing a Chocotor live tonight on my other channel. So if you are on that channel, Chocotor Ken's Creations, I'm going to be doing a project tonight because, um, we have the Watts of Love coming up this Saturday and I want to chat about that and some other stuff. Um, and Sean will be there. So I will be at no risk of spilling the beans, um, and stuff. I did talk about Club Couture. I said that we sent out 150 boxes of goody stuff. And, oh, by the way, I just want to let you guys know, a lot of the comments on my Club Couture boxes were very concerned that we do not treat our male people nice. We do. We pack the boxes, for, or we scan it for them. We put it in their cars. They are. We have the best post lady and men in the city, and we also make sure to give them stuff. So, um, our main lady, her name's Kate, and we make sure, uh, her wife loves Ray Dunn, so she got some Ray Dunn bunny canisters and birdhouses, and she gets, uh, we spoil her. We try to spoil them as much as possible. So, last time it was a, a gentleman, and we loaded the whole car for him and stuff. So, um, we treat them good and, uh, take care of them and stuff. Um, I just want to end this, guys, with, I honestly feel this has been something that's needed to happen since the last Ken from the car that I had where I broke down and really was frustrated and, 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 and saying I'm hurt. From then till now, I've been in this weird space. I've been in this kind of funk. And I finally see the light at the end of this tunnel of that funk. But I'm really excited. And I am really thankful for you guys and thankful for being there with me and and watching us grow and going through with these new changes. Um, I really, 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 really hope you guys go out there and make people smile because we really need it during these times. This is, yes, it is the male lady who plays with the puppies. Um, the, um, what was I saying? Oh, if there's been any time that we really need to make people feel warm, fuzzy, loved, and put good out in the world, it is now because people are sitting at home, they're scared, bad news keeps happening, people are losing jobs, companies are closing, and we can't control it. We can't fix it, but we can be nice to people, and we can send love and happiness and good vibes and happy mail and compliments and thumbs up and hearts. And if we all did that, we would live in a beautiful world. And we are in a beautiful world. But during these times, we either rise or we sink. And I feel like in the past month, I've really let these times I'm living in get to me instead of reaching out to you guys for support. And that's on me. I get that. But I want you guys to do the same thing. It doesn't, exactly, it doesn't cost anything to be nice. And it doesn't cost anything to make people smile. And I'm telling you right now, that's how you build relationships. And that's how you meet people. I got, one last story before I go. And then I gotta go. But one last story. My first creativation, I got a lot of flack on a video. It was the Zyron video. 
And the reason I got a lot of flack for it is I went to the booth and Teresa um, Collins was there and I never met her. And I was there and she showed me how to make a, I think it was a tassel. And I know how to make a tassel, but I joked with her and I was like, oh my gosh, that's so amazing. You know, like I kind of hammed it up, I guess you would say. But the reason why is I wanted to make her laugh. I wanted to make her day. She's, you know, at this event and she was um, showing me something and I was my typical self of, I just want to have fun and make people laugh. And when I left, I didn't think anything of it. I was like, well, that was fun. That was a fun thing. But in that comment of that video, I got a lot of people saying, Ken, you know how to do this. Don't play dumb. You know, don't be so silly and stuff. But because of that interaction, later that night, I got a message from her and she literally said, oh my gosh, I had so much fun in the booth with you. Will you be my friend? And I was like, I can't be your friend. You're maxed out on your friend list. And next thing I know, I'm a friend and we're texting and we started building a relationship because of that connection. And I just want to reiterate, because of that, I have someone in my life who constantly is there to build me up and help me and get me through and that I can get advice from. And I honestly feel the same way is with all of you guys that never doubt for one day you're, you're enough, you can do this, and no one can tell you um, you can't. And the minute you start allowing them to do that, that's where you lose it. And that's where I lost it. So um, luckily, I have the friends that I do to to help filter it and to be there for me and to to guide me. But I honestly, you guys, I can't stress this enough. I honestly, honestly, honestly feel that I went up to that grave on Saturday and I had the day Sunday. And I honestly feel by Monday morning, my mom interviewed and said, this is what you need to do. This is the direction Yes, it's scary. Yes, this is out of your comfort zone, but do it. And uh, Jazzy and Sean are on board, and I'm excited. So I believe he's at a max of 5,000. Um, so I'm never at a max because I think Jazzy deletes people. <laughs> I don't know sometimes what Jazzy does, but like I'm always like right under 5,000 because I think she goes through and deletes people that she doesn't think are real or are bad vibes. I don't know. I don't know what she does. But then I do go and prove certain people's stuff. So, all right. Um, my windows are getting fogged, as you can see. So that's probably why so many cops are coming to look at me. Um, oh my gosh, it feels so good with the door open. Um, I just want to say I love you guys dearly. Thank you for using our links because we do get a small compensation from the companies. We truly appreciate that. Um, thank you for sitting an hour with me as I cry and laugh and I'm all over the map. Um, if you're going to watch our chocolate tour tonight, it should be probably, what time is it? We should be on by 6.30 and it will be a quick live, uh, just cause we have so much to do and stuff. So if you're going to come out, make sure, um, uh, you join us there around 6.30. So, all right, guys, I love you guys dearly and I cannot wait for, um, the day I can share everything with you.